the next button is data management and you will see two options here office sync setup and manage data office sync has to do with syncing your uh, display when you have a modem up to your office to wirelessly transfer field uh, data information vice versa both directions from the office to the display or from the display to your office the next button here is manage data and you will see you have internal and if you insert a USB drive into here you can also manage USB data this is where you go in to send or retrieve your fields whether you're sending them to a USB or retrieve them from a USB you can also go into here and delete data if you have old fields here you can delete the fields and coverage is the top selection the bottom one is just to delete the coverage logging only so you will still have that field saved along with any guidance lines that you have in that field this bottom one will just delete the coverage logging what's painted yellow or events the final one we come to is system and uh, you can go through the quick start display whenever you turn your display on for the first time it'll take you through that I usually turn that off by the time you get it but if we go through display and you'll see our units our color scheme time zone all this stuff should be set up for you your view is one thing you might, may want to take note of and you can have it on uh, auto headland auto engage or manual so whenever you get to your headland it's going to change your view and uh, whenever you would have a your auto system auto steering system engaged it would change your view or you can manually change it and you may want to set it to manual to start out and your light bar setup may be the most important one on this page look ahead time one second if you're manually driving uh, if you have auto steer or easy steer or easy pilot set that to zero LED spacing that's the spacing of the red LED lights across the top of the display so take note of that when you're driving uh, throughout the field when one LED light comes up if you want to leave it at 12 inches you can put it all the way down to one inch if you like or you can leave it at more than 12 inches and then you have brightness and the other main one to take note of on here is your LED mode that is how you are reacting to the uh, light bar whether you are chasing the lights or you are pulling yourself back online to to center the green lights on your AB line or whatever line you're running advanced this is an important button in that this is where you go to save your configurations so save load configurations is here and you can load a configuration or an implement if you want to call it that you can save new implements as you add them to your GPS display there. You can delete old configurations there. See the configuration um, movie to go, that goes in detail about how to save those things in your display. Um, on this page, that is the one that you need to worry about. Don't worry about any of these others currently. You can also go into status on your system and view any status items you need you shouldn't need to worry about that for the most part and this just tells you about the display so that is the settings tab so you can see when we went through the six different tabs in the settings that's where most of your setup is done other than your field setup view this is just changing whether you zoom in or zoom out and you can switch to a trailing view or an overhead view whichever you prefer this bottom left button is what turns your paint on and off and you'll see a mapping icon here this is where you can go in and mark a tree rock or weed the most important one on here is to uh, take note of is the exclusion area that is what you would press when we mark out a waterway or an unproductive area of the field that you do not want to plant and with marking it as an exclusion zone that will shut off your sprayers, your corn planters, your fertilizer spreaders and things like that automatically as soon as it enters that area 
And your next button down is auto steer setup. We will go into that later on in the easy steer movie. And your bottom right icon is a steering wheel. That is what you would push to engage your auto steer, easy steer, easy pilot, or disengage it. And that button will go yellow when you can't engage it, and then it'll go green uh, once you've pushed it and it is engaged. So, um, in order to go through a field, this is where you would enter in to set up a field and enter in your implement that, that you're pulling. So we will create a new field. And here we have pattern type. And you can see the different options you have for patterns in this display. You can see as you choose the different patterns it will show you what they are or how they work briefly here. So we'll stay on a straight AB for this purpose. Hit the green check. This is the most important part right here, the implement setup. This is where on the top line you enter your implement width and you can just type it in. We're going to leave it at 30 feet, but to type it in you would just uh, whether it's 12 feet or or 60 feet or 90 feet but today we will leave it at 30 feet and hit the green check. If you don't hit the green check it will not save your width what you just typed in. Overlap and skip this is the amount of overlap that you would want to run keep in mind your accuracy level that you're running at and what you are doing in the field. You may want to run six to eight inches of overlap when mowing hay or tillage just to make sure you cover all the ground when you're spraying you want to run some overlap so you don't leave skippers um, when you're planting corn typically you're going to put it at zero because you don't want any overlap or when you're uh, drilling in beans or wheat you may want it at zero uh, left right offset this is important if your hitch of your implement is not centered on your implement what happens is the uh, line, the guidance line will be based off of uh, zero offset if you don't have any entered in and then you're going to find your marriage rows um, either overlapping or leaving a gap depending which way you're going through the field. If your hitch is not centered on your implement you will need to enter in an offset. The easiest way to do that is to mark the drawbar of your tractor and go back to your implement and measure and find the center of your implement and mark that on the ground and if those two line up then your right and left offset is zero. If there is a space between those two measure that distance and enter in whether it was to the left or to the right of where you marked your drawbar and then you will have the correct implement offset entered in. The next line is forward back offset. That is from the antenna back to your spray booms, back to your um, seed tubes on your corn planter, for an example. If you have a draw bar implement, you will have to put in the hitch to ground measurement right here. And that is where the, your hitch pin goes through the draw bar back to your spray booms or your seed tube on your corn planter or if you're doing tillage maybe back to your first set of chisels or points just in this example and uh, the next one here is implement draft you could enter in here if you are having issues of doing tillage for example and your chisel plow is pulling constantly to the right you could enter in a measurement of four inches or six inches an example if it's consistently pulling to one direction, you can enter that in here and it will count for a little bit of drift of your implement. The implement mount type is set to draw bar. You do have the option of selecting three point hitch here if you would, if you would like to. The next page over is record a boundary. Um, see the boundary recording video um, that goes through the steps there. Confirm configuration. This is how your field data is going to be saved. So you can name a client. And if you create a new client, you can name it. Then you can name all your different farms. If you have multiple farms, you could have a name for each one of your farms in here to organize all your information. 
your field, all your field names can be in here. We'll call this field one. And your different events, say you're going to plant or spray or uh, disc or vertical tillage or deep tillage, whatever you want to put in here or spread fertilizer or harvest. We'll select plant. You can enter in new ones to to gear that list towards whatever your operation is using. The record keeping page goes into great detail. I won't go into all the little detail, but you can enter in multiple different things to be very specific in who was the operator, the vehicle type. And at the bottom here, I just do want to show you that you do have some custom ones. If you want to keep track of certain information that's not on there, you can enter that in on a custom setting. So if we go to green check, now we have opened the field and you can see that the A button lit up so I could uh, run my AB line from this point and uh, let's go ahead and give myself some speed and I'll plot an A line here and I want to show you when the guidance tab comes up here now you can see the guidance tab came up on the screen so if I hit that this is where I can uh, have the option of nudging if I nudge the line to the left, if you look across the bottom, it nudged it one inch to the left. You can also see it by pulling up your status button, and it'll see there one inch to the left nudge. Or you can nudge it back to the right, and this will center it to zero. As you can see on the bottom, you can pause guidance, and uh, the other button on here is the shift to here. So if I drive over to the right of my current line, uh, you can see on the upper left how far I'm away. So if I am about three feet or so from my current line, if I hit, hit the shift to here button and save, it moved my line over to where I was at. So that will also help you account for wash drift. If you know where you need to be on your next pass, you can shift that line to where your tractor is currently at. Across the top of the display, you will see the green and red lights lighting up. And you can remember that one red light is representing 12 inches right now. If I steer back towards the line, you will see the green lights come back up. There they come. And um, once the three green lights are centered, you're going to be 12 inches or less um, closest to your line, is how that's going to work. The auto steer setup, I'll show you what that button looks like. And it is just online aggressiveness. The higher the number, the more aggressive, the lower the less. And I'll go into more detail about that later on. And you can see how we're engaged. And now I'm disengaged. And now once I press the button green, it engages. And you'll see the paint turns on and off as I engage and disengage. If you're manually running your paint, you just tap the bottom left-hand button, and it's turned off. And the manual always overrides engaged or switched. And if you tap the button again your paint will turn back on. So now to close out of the field you just go to field and ask you if you have finished or not and you would say yes and hit the green arrow and you have the option you can go on and select a field by name so we could pull up that field that we just did because it had saved it in here so I have Lau and Young, back 40, field number 1. And do I want to create a new event or continue old? If I continue old event, and it was plant was the event, if we load this, it'll sh it shows a AB line underneath where the tractor is at on here. If we uh, go to our next page, and you can adjust your implement if you need to. And record a boundary no for this point, and record keeping will keep that the same. And there's our AB line that we just did. Uh, we closed the field and we went back out of it, and we came back in again.